Hi, welcome to Wholeheartly for the Lord Bible Journey with Sherry. If this is your first time here, welcome. Those who are faithful viewers, thank you for watching again. Today I'll be using uh, an Etsy store kit from Praise and Pray. And she made a kit for the books of the Bible, namely for the Illustrated Faith Bible, but it works in any Bible. It really does. So um, I really like that idea of having one kit on that opening page of each book of the Bible. So that's what I'll be doing today. There wouldn't, be, there isn't any journaling because, because it is a series on the names of the books of the Bible. Unless I feel like I need to write notes, I will. But I always leave space for me to go back and write if I need to. I don't like to write if I don't have a purpose for writing. So. Uh, thank you for watching the video and remember if I can Bible journal so can you and I love to do Bible kits because Bible kits are easy ways of Bible journaling without the pressure and the stress of trying to draw something yourself which is totally fine but sometimes we get stuck or sometimes we can't draw like other people but there are many many Bible kits out there from many many Etsy shops and other companies and they are really a blessing and I really enjoy doing them and it still becomes my own because I design it the way that I want to and no two Bible kits once it's done looks alike and I can bear witness to that because on the Facebook group everyone does the kit and everyone's page looks different yet we're using the same elements so you can still be creative you can still be organic in your bible journaling and all those things so i pray that you would just try a bible kit and enjoy it and check out the books of the bible because i really like that idea and every week on tuesday she has a two dollar tuesday and you can get especially in america the kits and other things are like a dollar and 54 cents. So you really can't beat that and the quality is great. So thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. So I don't know the exact name of this, but what I'm about to do right now is I'm going to do a tip in, which you are pretty familiar with, where you just add a page and you just tip it in on the side by attaching it to your Bible page or the crease of your Bible. But what I'm doing right now is I'm calling it a tip down. I don't know what it's called, but it's a, I'm calling it a tip down because what I'm doing is I'm putting my uh, information on Exodus that I got out of my life application Bible and I'm using washi tape and I'm adhering it to the bottom of the page and you see underneath there's still plenty of room for me to write notes so I wanted to leave space to write notes and I didn't want to cover the whole area so I just call it a tip down because I just take the page and tip it down in order to write my notes so it's really simple and you do it the same way you would do a tip in you just it just depends on where you put the washi so because I put it on the washi tape at the bottom then the tip is going to page is going to come down if I put the washi tape up top then it's going to flip up if I put the washi tape on the left side then it's going to flip over toward the left and if I put it on the right side it's going to tip out to the right so that's just it so that's just another way you can add journaling space and still add the elements that you want in your Page, I'm sorry on your page and I really like that because now I have the study of Exodus what it means and the themes to look for in it right there in my illustrated faith Bible and when I'm ready to write notes I can just write the notes underneath my tip down so that's just something that you may be able to try or if you're not aware of it I just wanted to show you thank you